I've been told that uh, the groomsman speech or the best man speech is that it should be like a mini skirt, you know, long enough to cover the essentials but short enough to keep your attention. So I'm going to try and abide by those rules as I speak. <laughs> Brian and I have known each other since high school. Um, in fact, we met through his parents and my parents. And uh, I can't tell you how honored I am to have been there standing next to you um, on this amazing day. In fact, you were there on some amazing days for me as well. Um, you know, I think, I think, I don't have any advice. I don't have any wise words because it's all been said a million. I, I watched Wedding Crashers like six times hoping that I would have a couple wise words, but reality is I don't have any of that stuff. All I can say is, Heather, I hope that you know how much this guy loves you. I mean, the day he met you, I heard about it. It was like the first time he laid eyes on you. He knew he had something special. And in fact, I'm pretty sure it's not a secret because his Instagram is like a Heather fan page or something. <laughs> I mean, I made a bet with some friends that over the course of a seven day period, one post would not be a picture of her. So I lost 50 bucks. <laughs> so if you could just send me 50 bucks, whenever, whenever you get a chance, I'd appreciate it. No, you, you guys are amazing. I'm sorry that I haven't had more of an opportunity to get to know you, but I look forward to it. And you make beautiful couples. Your parents are like family to me. Wow, you, you, you've been amazing to me. And I, I, I don't even know how to say how much I appreciate you guys having me a part of your family. Because that's how I feel. So. To the bride and groom. Uh, bride and groom. Yeah. 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 Hi, I'm Rochelle. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the matron of honor. And um, I just want to thank Brian and Heather for inviting me to be a part of your special day. And thank you to Ginny and Bob for making all of this possible.
by reviewing the timeline of events that led us here tonight, and obviously the end of that time, at least for tonight, is the fact that Brian and Heather are married. At the beginning of that timeline was Brian's grandfather, George, who unfortunately passed away earlier this year, and I wanted to acknowledge George for being a part of all of our lives. And it wasn't for George, you know, obviously this whole chain would not have taken place. But George found and married Yomi, was born here on Maui, and they lived part of their lives here, moved to California. And George and Yomi had two wonderful daughters, Jimmy and Kathy, and I was fortunate enough to find and marry Jimmy. And we had two fantastic boys, Tim and Brian, and Brian was very lucky to find and marry Heather. I wanted to say thanks to George for starting that timeline for all of us here tonight. Thanks, George. And I also wanted to acknowledge Heather and Sam for becoming part of our family. I think we're all very lucky to have that happen and be able to share in their lives as well. And finally, I wanted to leave Brian with a few words of wisdom to help him through his marriage that many of you may have heard before was something like this. I was wrong. You're right. I love you. Congratulations.